That's the reaction that Treasurer Anami gets. Welcome back to our final weekly video of OP6. This is video six of six of set six of my favorite number of the One Piece card game. So hopefully there's something really cool in these boxes. Mongerer Zoro would be sick. I haven't pulled a Mongerer in a while. So I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping for it. If we pull a Treasurer Nami, I'll just say I won't be mad about it, but I also probably won't be that happy about it. Bless them. Um, but yeah, we know that one of these boxes is gonna have an alt art and a secret and one box is gonna have two alt arts. That is guaranteed at this point because we've broken through enough of this case. The first case, we noticed a trend that all the top boxes just had two hits and each of the top boxes was either one alt art and one secret or two alt arts. There were two boxes that had two alt arts and there were four boxes that had one alt art and one secret. Um, and then the bottom boxes all either have a alt art leader oh it's treasure Nami. that's the reaction that's the reaction that treasure Nami gets oh hmm you know i think it's like maybe like her eyes are just a little too wide apart and she doesn't have a wrist you know her arm just kind of goes like just like right into her hand this is cool. The texture's really cool. It's got beautiful texture on it. It's a really beautifully textured card. Um, but her, yeah, you know, like her, this part of her arms, the same size as her forearm and maybe her eyes are a little too wide apart or something. Her nose doesn't really have a nose. There's something going on. You know, you look at somebody's face immediately and, but but even when you start looking outside of the, her face in this card, you know you might notice there's you know there's some other stuff stuff going on. Anyway, if um yeah, I would have I probably would have had a more wild reaction to a Zoro. Um, that was more like surprised. The Japanese word for, for surprise is bikuri. I would call that bikuri nami more than treasure nami because she's surprising. You know, you pull her out of a pack and you're like, whoa. You know what I mean? Like that. It's not as much like, for me at least, it's not as much of a, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I have, I'm having a public shrip em freak out, which happens to me. There have been many of them documented on the Joku DMD YouTube channel. You can go back in the history of, the, of my show here and see um, many documented public freak outs that I've had about shrip em reactions. Um, but you know, Treasure Nami, I, I wouldn't say that she's one of them, but we can confirm that Treasure Nami came from a top box. I would say it's most likely that there will be a secret in this box. In the video I saw, the Treasure Nami got a uh, Zoro secret in the same box. Alt art. Wow, weird. Okay, so I think that just means Treasure Nami takes an alt art spot is what I believe that means. It is it is consistent that she has been in the top of the box, but let's see, let's just make sure that there's no other alt art or secret in here in these packs. Just confirming, so we can confirm or deny. Yes, we can confirm that it is just, so this was a two alt top box that we found Treasure Nami in, interestingly enough. Sorry, just gotta get this box out of here. And then we have one last box in this case. So that means that this box that's left is going to be one alt art and one secret. That's what's gonna be inside of here. You heard it here first from Joku DMD himself, the hockey shrimpum overlord. All right. Bless him. I'll leave this treasure Nami in the middle so people that want to see. It was the sixth video of the sixth set of the sixth series. Of course you were going to get some treasure. Did we know that it would be Nami? And somebody please correct me if I'm wrong. Is there not a Vinsmoke Bro alt art? Am I making that up? Because as far as I know, it just doesn't exist. Which would be fine. It's one less alt art 
to pull. And oh, Hayori. That's a great last alt art because it's a 2K and I only have one of them so far. And the card's got value also, it's a strong card. And then I think that there's gonna be a secret in here and then that'll be the last hit of this case, I believe. And then we're gonna be, you know, back to square shrip them. Um, it's weird because I record this video before in time and then it comes out later in time. There's our Sanji, it's our secret. So I'll probably do a, a, a stream after this. I'll probably stream one case opening and um, and yeah, that's set six for you. Still no Yamato alt art leader. We got all the other ones. Anyway, thanks for coming by. I'm a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. A dental tooth tip to you would be, I don't know, ask me a question. Put somebody put some dental questions in the comments, and and I'll meditate on them. And uh, next season's shrimpums, I'll I'll check them out. But I gotta give a tip because I always give a tip. So my tip would be, uh, don't don't let teeth get to the point where they need a root canal. If you're having sensitivity to cold, it might just be a bite adjustment that the tooth needs, and sometimes that can correct the issue, and it won't make the tooth flare up and become a big problem. Uh, but other times. If you let that go on too long, an improper bite or some decay that's causing cold sensitivity can lead to needing a root canal where they need to take the root of the tooth out, fill that, and then you need a crown on that tooth. It's a lot more than just needing a filling or something. So make sure you're on top of it. Don't wait until your teeth hurt to get them checked out. Thanks for coming by, and I will see you for the next season of Shrippums. I think it's going to be Memorial Booster is what's next. So we should have some of that to Shrippum here. See you then.